Hey, Tanner, how you doing? Good, Chris. How are you doing today? Good. You're in your project trailer today? Yeah, I'm just here at the office. Uh, we got a uh, wall placement going on a little later this afternoon. So uh, just trying to get some stuff done in here while I can. Awesome. Hey, why don't we start by uh, telling us who you are, who you work for, and, and what you're building? Uh, my name is Tanner Santo. I'm a superintendent for the Walsh Group uh, here in San Francisco, California. We are building the new headworks uh, for the Southeast Wastewater Treatment Plant. Uh, it's going to be up to a 300 million gallon per day capacity in the wet season. Uh, we're looking at probably a good two years of structural concrete, uh, which will primarily be my focus. So why would you monitor the concrete? So that's actually a very good question. So um, we're doing a lot of vertical walls on this job. I think we have three to 400 different wall placements. And the big thing for us is we cannot strip those forms until we reach a minimum compressive strength. That's where these sensors are just an absolute time saver for us. We put a few thermocouplers with the, the Maturex sensors into the wall at the time of placement. And thanks to the maturity curve that we're able to calculate with the help of CMEX, our concrete provider, um, we actually get a live readout of compressive strength. It, it, it's even so streamlined where I have notifications set up to my cell phone. I'm not waiting on a call from a testing lab. I'm not hounding a testing lab. I actually get a ding on my phone, but on this project, it's a bit unique. It's actually kind of in the middle of the night uh, or the early, early morning, telling me that that wall has reached 1,250 PSI. That way at 7 a.m. when the guys show up to work, we're not waiting on anything. We're immediately to the work, taking the forms off. I know the wall has reached a compressive strength where it's safe to do so. Um, there's really no second guessing anything. That, that's awesome. So why did you specifically, you did a lot of research on, on different technology out there. Why did you choose the Maturex Smart Concrete Sensors? The, the biggest thing to get Maturex, uh, to make Maturex the number one choice was just the cost effecting, effectiveness of it. Um, a lot of the competitors have one-time use sensors where you're paying up around sometimes even $100 a sensor and you embed it into the concrete and every single pour, you know, that's a hundred dollars down the drain where your technology is actually better because I don't have to go around and capture the data with Bluetooth. It's all done over a, basically a cloud network. It's sent directly to my phone, like I mentioned. So in reality, I'm, I'm paying less for a better product. It's streamlined, it's easy. Uh, as far as cost effective, it's not even close compared to the competitors out there with the one-time use sensors um, and the labor you save in collecting the data um, is also a huge cost savings as well. So we've just been very happy with what these have provided for us here. That's awesome. Well, I see a bunch of them in the background there. So you gotta get those, uh, get those in use. Yeah, no, we uh, we will have two of them going into a pour this afternoon. We're going to do a wall placement uh, in one of our hydraulic conduits. Awesome. Tanner, I know you're a busy guy. Thank you so much for taking some time. And uh, I really appreciate it. No, it's no problem. You guys uh, you guys are helping us out a lot on this project. So it's, uh, it's it, we got a good thing going here. So happy to help out.